The Nova 2 is a lot of things. It's a full multimedia device, it's an e-reader, it's effectively a tablet with an e-ink screen as your only way to view media. Today we're just going to look at notes. This is a super casual video. We're just going to go through every single one of these settings on the screen. If you do want to see our full review video, we have already done that on youtube.com slash good e-reader. Originally only on the Max 3, you do have four modes now that even the Nova 2 has, and we're not going to go through every one of these modes because it just effectively gets progressively faster and faster. Normal mode, speed mode, A2, and X mode. For writing, if you don't mind the staining, you can see you can still see the previous menu. If you don't mind that, X mode is extremely fast. This is one of the lowest latencies of any device that we've seen on this particular mode. It's it it's it's like you're writing on a piece of paper in terms of the responsiveness of everything. Again, you see some massive staining in the background, but that doesn't mean what your writing looks like that. So after you're done doing your super fast writing, you just go down to here and you can go to your modes, choose normal mode, it refreshes, and everything you've written turns perfect quality. This is just a note-taking video. We'll start with the brushes. You have paintbrush, we're going to look how everything looks and check everything. So this is the one where you have the pressure sensitivity. Right out of the gates, what I will tell you is the latency is very low, which means it's very quick. If you turn the pen around, you can erase everything on the screen that you swipe over. If you want, you can also use the secondary button on the side, pressing and holding this. That will also do erasing. You can't erase a specific segment. That is where the eraser comes into play. Now, the first thing you notice is that it isn't that much of a paper-like feel. It's quick, it's accurate, it looks beautiful, but it doesn't feel like paper by any means. It is very much glass. There's very little resistance, which means it's very glassy and glossy. It just kind of slides over everything. And don't worry, I am scribbling right now, but at the very end, we're gonna be writing a few lines of text. So pencil, pencil locks the pressure sensitivity, whether I press lightly or very hard, it's going to be the exact same line. And this is useful if you're doing drafting and everything and you don't want to worry about pressure sensitivity. That's the box. You can just lock it with the pencil. Moving on, we have lines. Lines are very nice because this allows you to make super straight lines. You'll see that there is some rendering issues, but we will show you how to fix that very soon. And you do have triangles, which is very nice. Onyx is one of the few brands that actually gives you geometric shapes to play with. And they're perfect every time because they're locked into the exact shapes that you choose. So if you want to make a square, you don't really have to worry about where the square, you know, starts and ends so much as it just makes a perfect square. So that's very nice. We also have line width. So we'll check the biggest width we can go. Swirl around. So you have very thin or the thickest bleed with the paintbrush, like so. That. So that's very nice. And you'll see the line width is right here as a little example. So the eraser, we have a few different erasers here. We have moving eraser. If you swipe over something, you get that individual erasing technique. You have stroke eraser. It erases the entire stroke, much like what this already does. Area eraser, and this is where you isolate an area and it will erase that area that you isolate. Or erase all effectively just erases everything. We're going to go back to the paintbrush because we're going to look at something Onyx is very nice and liberal with is colors. They're very nice with colors because they allow you to do black. And we'll look at each one of these. Dark gray. Medium gray light gray, white, which is effectively an eraser. You can see it just mimics the back color of the device. And these three are a little, not misleading, but confusing. So this will be red and green and blue are actually the exact same. So as you see here and blue, so you're going to have to take special note 
as to which one is red, green, and blue, because when you export this, this one, this one, and this one will all be in the respective colors, but they don't show up on the screen, obviously, because this isn't a color e-ink device. So you have to make sure that you know which one is which. And I just realized that we are stuck on uh, area erase instead of stroke eraser. So that's why the stroke eraser wasn't working very well. So if we go to the pen again, paintbrush, make that box we always make. A little bit of shading here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And we're going to use the lasso tool next. This is a very nice tool. Again, something Onyx is very nice with is that they don't just allow you to lasso it. They allow you to actually change the dimensions of it and not lock dimensions either. So you can actually squish it, which is very rare. Not a lot of devices allow you to squish and stretch. They always have locked dimensions and you can rotate it around and you can copy it. So if you've done something really technical, you can actually stamp it, paste it, and there it is right there. So if you want to save it to a new page or something, you can. So you can effectively copy the page or copy individual elements to the new page. You can zoom in as well. You do have zoom in. And you do have pinch and zoom on or off as well. So you can control the pinch and zoom toggle. And that is actually not a lot of devices allow you to do that either. Onyx is really doing a lot of firsts in the note taking world. We'll write my name on the screen. You can move that around and you can change all the text and everything. You can change the text size. Boom. You can bold, underline, italicize. You can delete it or copy it, etc. Now this is going to be where it really gets interesting is the A. Well, it's called, it's not technically called AI, but it's A with a cursor. It looks like AI. So what we're going to do is choose the pencil to lock the dimensions of the pressure sensitivity. We're not going to allow that. And we're just going to type in hello. And we're going to type it in the top corner there because as we do that, we'll go original recognition and that will do it right where we wrote it. From here, you can just like the text, you can change uh, all the bolds, italicized, underlines, etc. If we go back and choose AI, but we choose reflow recognition, it's going to throw it into the top corner. And why this is useful is because if you go hello, I am Peter, and then you go reflow recognition. Now it's not 100% because you see there that it didn't recognize my spacing in between everything. So you will have to kind of go there and clean it up, but it is, it is not bad. It just needs a little bit of work. But the thing is why it's so hard to do handwriting recognition, because everyone writes differently. You can see the top of the T's poking out and the top corner of the E's poking out, etc. So it, it does require a little bit of uh, refinement. You do have some backgrounds as well. You can see many different backgrounds. If you choose something like big grid, it does change it to the big grid. And then if you make a new page here, add page, it carries it over to the next page as well. So that's really nice. So you do have lock the touch recognition, but it, you don't really need this because the palm recognition is very nice in its inherent form. You can see I'll put all five fingertips on the screen and rest my palm and it still works. It still works perfectly fine. So this is just precautionary in case you taught I hit one of the things on the side, but it's not necessary. You also have refresh, add page, delete page, save, export. So export we're going to stop on. We're not going to stop on those because you know what those are. Export, you can save the page as a single PNG. So page two will be saved as an image, or you can save the entire workbook, your entire notebook, all the pages as a PDF and scroll through each individual page and those will be stored to the device storage. You can share as well the exact same way except this one shares whatever is on your device. So for example, if I had Facebook, I can share via Facebook. Uh, if I had email, I can share via email. Insert picture is really cool. And we're just going to choose a tree we downloaded on Google. Now this is where the device really shines. This this changes things. It really does. This is some Photoshop level of editing software now because this one in particular isn't a PNG, but you can find PNG images and you can put them into your uh, background here and start drawing over them. 
And this really does change the game because a lot of devices don't do this. Remarkable has layers and stuff like that and they have a lot of options when it comes to note taking but Onyx is a very very close second and with the latency being so low you really don't ever feel like you're waiting around for anything to happen. Everything just works as it should and it's super high quality. You have swap left and right so you can swap it over there if you're left handed and you want to draw over there. Swap it back and we have lastly custom toolbar and this is where you can add things and remove things to the toolbar so you can customize it as you see fit. At the top you have all your notes, you have search if you've added any text, undo, redo and cycle through pages. That is everything on this device. Now let's do a couple lines of writing on here and that'll be the wrap up for the video. So. Um, if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. And uh, if you want to see anything else on this device, I'm pretty sure we've covered every single one of what these things do. So let us know down below in the comments section. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter.